Welcome to a new episode of Nice and Sunny, the podcast. Welcome, everybody. You have heard in the last uh, sort of episode where I say how many nights um, I'm having a certain place as my home. Uh, I told you already that I am in Cambodia at the moment, uh, in the capital of Phnom Penh. And I have to be careful with the pup 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 because I don't have a pup 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 <laughs> safety thing. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, so the reason I'm here is not just, you know, to take off a new country of my list, but also because there is a poker event here. The um, WPT uh, Cambodia, the first ever, is, is being held here. And I'm doing some work uh, for one of my clients. So... Something is happening here, and, and again, if you have listened to the last uh, episode that I recorded, um, I once again have some health problems. In this case, I had an allergic reaction to a combination of sunscreen and mosquito spray, which caused uh, yeah a, a very unpleasant rash on my arms and legs. Um, so basically, where I put that stuff to protect myself from the sun and from mosquitoes. And now the thing is, I actually would have to be down there on the ground and really at the poker event, uh, take photos and stuff like that. But I'm so conscious about how my arms look like that I don't really want to be down there. Um, and my client just said, it's not that bad. You know, don't worry. Nobody cares. Um, but what he doesn't realize is as a woman alone, as a woman alone already, you cannot go anywhere without being judged. And I know a lot of the people listening to this are probably going to be male and think, oh, God, it's nonsense. But it's not. It's actually really not. Because um, judging, I mean, in general, is a natural thing. I'm going to get into that uh, a little later. But it's, it's just simply something that happens. And um, if you don't want to be judged, then you shouldn't put yourself in positions like that. So it is difficult because, obviously, I want to take part in life and be out there. But then again, having... A rash on your arms is something that is not very pleasant and people don't know necessarily that it's just an allergic reaction. So nobody knows, is this now something that is maybe contagious? Maybe I'm having some weird, weird epidemic carrying around me or something. So I don't want to have this, you know, I don't want to cause this um, feeling of uneasiness in people that are around me. So that's it. And, and obviously, of course, I'm being judged for maybe not um, being hygienic because, again, people don't know what this is. You know, maybe it, maybe it means I haven't washed myself in three months. Um, so whatever it is, um, if you have a rash on your skin, people will judge you. You're probably judging me right now because of it without even seeing me. Right? And I know that a lot of people don't want anybody to even just talk about it. Oh, that's disgusting. Not talk about it. But it's just what it is, right? So um, I found it fascinating that my, my client basically said, don't worry, you know, nobody cares. Um, just showing that a lot of men don't even realize how much judging, especially towards women, is actually happening. So if you don't know poker, um, being at a live poker event usually means that the only women around are the dealers and some waitresses. You know, there's five percent of women, five uh, percent of the players that play poker are female. So there aren't a lot of women there that are legitimate players. They're usually um, staff that are working there or media people or something like that. Um, so once as a woman you walk into a poker room, everybody will just look. So, OK, who's who's this? Who's who's she? Why is she here? You know, what gives her? the right to be here or she must be working here right so all that is fine you know I don't care I mean I had that my very first uh, time in a poker room actually was in Ireland and I was standing watching a friend of mine play and uh, I remember a guy came up to me and wanted to order a drink because he thought I was a waitress so that was my very first <laughs> experience being in a poker room so this this stuff is real you know you're not being um, seen as just another human being there for poker, but um, as a woman you're being judged right away or must be staff, must be working here. Um, 
maybe even in some cases uh, they think you're you're a working woman depending on how you dress um so these things are real you know so that's that's one thing then i'm in asia right now so it's not just the fact that i'm a female going into a poker room but one of the very few caucasians being here and i was looking around and i actually think i'm the only caucasian woman that was in that room um so it makes people extra look at me um and then so basically that means if everybody's looking at me trying to figure out who i am and why i'm there what gives me the right to be there that means i can't just slip past with a massive rash on my arms because everybody is already looking at me so and i was trying to explain that to my client but it's um it's very difficult to make them understand that this is really something that is a thing you know so i can't go in there without having all these looks and people won't forget that you know people will see oh she had like that's the woman with that rash on her arms so so in the end i didn't um i didn't go up until yesterday and then i wrapped myself a little bit in a big scarf um which was covering my arms looked a little ridiculous but at least i felt comfortable enough to be around that area still taking photos would mean that my hands would be uh, exposed and you would see uh, the rash on my arms so i didn't really you know i wasn't really able to do a lot of work so it's not very pleasant and obviously you can all go into that conversation of you know why do you care you know like you should stop caring about what people think about you and um so if they judge you so what you know and i know yes yeah if you if you're a very confident person and you're very happy with that that nobody is judging you good for you <laughs> there is a there is a fine balance obviously a lot of people would think oh he's so confident um because he's rich and successful he doesn't care if people judge him but quite often that's actually not the case those people still care um what other people think of them and you know we can have an example of like Gary Vee you know so like, you know don't judge and don't don't be judged and doesn't matter what people think of me but that's not true either and he admits that as well and says of course he cares what people think but then again he doesn't at the same time because they don't have contexts right and that is true so in this case again having like a rash or like let's say you know if you have like a massive um have pimples or acne in your face or something like that people don't have the full story you know maybe they think you're you're eating unhealthily that's why you're having acne or um whatever um but maybe it's just you're a woman and you're a week before your period and so that's why your skin looks like that so it is you know it is always a fine balance of do i care what that person thinks because they don't actually know the whole story or do i just like hide myself <laughs> um so yeah this is this is the topic for today um because i find it fascinating how judging is uh just always there it's just part of our lives right um we can't switch it off it's happening it's natural and there's reasons right there's reasons why it's natural because um we do have to as as humans be very fast in finding out if somebody who's around us is a threat maybe or if it's a sociable person if it's a person we should respect or who has a higher status that we could then maybe uh advance ourselves in society and so on and so forth there's all these kind of um nuances that we do in split seconds that we judge other people in knowing do i want to be around this person or not it's completely normal it's completely natural it's absolutely something that um uh, human beings need um to live their lives it's just a very normal thing the funny thing is because we're talking about poker is in a poker environment you actually completely require this kind of judging because if you sit at the poker table you look around and all you do is actually categorizing and judging the people around you that are playing against you because in poker as we all know it's a skill game you have somebody opposite of you you play against them and you have to play better than them so in order to play better than the person opposite of you you have to make judgments on who they are where they're from uh, how do they move how do they speak how do they actually bet how do they hold the cards how do they hold the chips all this kind of stuff goes into a bank of knowledge that you require to make an educated decision on how to play against this person and this is very similar to real life once again you see all these things you take all these different aspects how is that person 
behaving? How are they coming towards me? Do they look clean? Do they look healthy? Are they uh, shying away from eye contact? This stuff just all goes into your information bank to then make decisions on do I want to be around this human being, right? Um, and obviously with a, with a lot of these things, if a lot of people don't travel a lot, for example, they might be judging anybody who looks different from them in a different way than if you travel a lot and you constantly have people around you that look different from you, where usually you are the one that looks different from everybody else. Yeah. So um, all this stuff is important and it's quite an interesting one because there's so many things that in poker you can just completely um, mirror with things in real life. In this case, it is really this judging people is super important and it is required to make an educated decision if I want to be dealing with this person. So if you see as a poker player that there's, for example, a Scandinavian, young Scandinavian guy, like let's say 24 years old, you found out it's 24 years old, coming from Sweden, <laughs> and is crazy betting every hand, looking overconfident, um, you might not want to tangle with that person unless you are very, very strong and have a very good hand. Um, so stuff like that is maybe um, comparable to in real life if, if you're at a bar and there's a, a, a big, uh, bulky, muscular, drunk guy trying to like ruffle your feathers and provoke you, you might just not want to get engaged and step away because there's not a lot of judging needed because you, you see all these things. That person is drunk. That person is very strong. Do I have a chance in a fight? Probably not. Let's walk away. Right? So you need these kind of judgments. I mean, this is an extreme example. You know, you see that already. But sometimes there's things where you just have a gut feeling. Like you see somebody who, like as I said, for example, doesn't keep eye contact. You think, why? Well, what's going on? So that person is hiding something from me. So you might step away in exactly the same way as from the drunk, um, strong guy because you just have a gut feeling that something isn't right. So this judging is constantly happening. It's constantly there. It's very natural. It's very necessary for um, humans to interact with the vast amount of like 7 billion other humans around us. There is one thing I wanted to try out with you guys. Um, here's actually an exercise, an exercise in judging people by doing people watching. So it's something I have not tried yet myself, but I want to do it and I will try and do it when I go back downstairs um, and be around all the poker players and just see how I fall into that uh, trap of judging people. I already found myself yesterday, I found myself watching some of them and judging them right away. Or I saw that that old Caucasian guy with a very, very young Asian girl. And you judge. You know, you're right there. You're immediately judging the whole situation. And I'm always trying to then reel myself back in and go, this is not my right. It's not my right to judge neither the man nor that woman for what they're doing. You know, but it happens. And it's really something, if you watch yourself, how much you're judging, you might actually understand why some people might have a problem putting themselves into certain situations where they are already being judged um, and then being even more judged by, for example, having acne in your face or a rash on your arms or hands. Okay, so the exercise um, that I would like to give you guys, and I will take it myself, um, is to really spend like, let's say half an hour. Um, if you have more time, great, do an hour and go somewhere in a cafe or in public space or something um, and just look around and watch people. A game that I quite often played in the past was um, basically trying to guess nationalities, which is a lot of fun. And I did that quite a lot in, in Dublin because it's such a multicultural mix. And it was a lot of fun just watching people just from behavior, from how they looked, how they dressed. Obviously, skin color is part of it. Um, and just see where's a person from. And it was so much fun to do that. Um, and I enjoy that at poker tables as well when I talk to people that before I let them tell me something, I just guess, and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And you learn a lot about um, humans, and you learn a lot about yourself, and why you think certain things about people, and the way they look and behave. So it's all a very interesting exercise. So um, the exercise, again, is half an hour or to an hour, sit down somewhere, and don't have your phone out, really try and watch people around you. 
and just notice how easily you slip into judging you know is is that woman hot is it like a yes or like would i or would die kind of situation or um is that man heavily overweight um he's probably a slob you know it's like not not exercising at all um is 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 that woman smoking oh my god is does she have a baby or you know like all this kind of stuff like just have a look around and see how often you start judging people around you and to make it even a bit more interesting maybe have a little notepad there and a pen and actually write down the things that you think of like ugly beautiful um antisocial dangerous write down all these attributes that you give people that you see and just observe how much you're judging others and then reflect on that um and see if there's anything you can do to maybe reduce that a little and if it would help your overall life situation to you know not be judging so much and uh, to just see people for who they are and yeah of course you can always start saying yeah but this is this is uh, this is a bad this is exercise in sexism or racism or whatever but it's not it's really just about watching yourself and learn on how you react to other people and um as i said in poker it's required so don't stop judging at the poker table because you do need that information um but it's a good comparison to really see and learn okay if i just need that information that i'm gathering here to make an educated decision when i'm dealing with that person that's probably a different kind of way weighing than if you just watch people and in your head just like slash them you know and just be nasty about them but if it's something you know you have to deal with a person and you just need all this information to to figure out if you you know want to deal with a person in the first place and then how to deal with a person this kind of information can be very important and it's very interesting to start gathering it um and maybe then you know everybody understands why i wouldn't want to be in public with a rash on my arms <laughs> okay anyway this has been a very strange topic i think um and um judge me or not <laughs> but i think it's an interesting area uh, of our everyday life um because the judging happens every single time you're meeting a person and you're seeing a person and if you don't that's amazing and i would love to learn uh how you manage that or if that was something you've always been like uh, your whole life is it something uh, you you learned in some way uh, is it something um your parents maybe taught you not to judge and then if you don't judge people do you often um fall into the trap that you maybe um get tricked by people um because you didn't apply this pre judgment and pre um evaluation of a person that you're dealing with so i'm very interested in in your experiences here and your opinion on this um so make sure to write in any of the comments here and um if you want to send me an email you can do so on contact at niceandsunny.com and you can obviously always get in touch on any of my social media uh, channels and yeah send me a message let me know how did this exercise go if you do it um and what have you learned from it about yourself and will you take a different approach in looking at people and um evaluating the the humans around you uh, i'd be very interested in in finding out and i'll uh, i'll try and do this exercise myself and let you know in the future how it went so yeah i hope this was an interesting one to listen to i know it's a bit of a strange one but um it was something that was just on my mind because I realize how difficult it is maybe for a lot of men to understand how it is already as a woman to just go out there and constantly be judged by men and even more so by other women. Um so it's it's a big thing, it's a big deal and obviously it would be nice if we just wouldn't care, but then if we completely stop caring, we probably are not very sociable in the end. So it is a fine line, it's a fine balance and I think it's an interesting topic to to look at and um deal with and concern yourself with. at least for a little bit and then go back to your normal ways. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for for listening and uh, you hear from me very soon again. Until then. Bye.